This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys. So in the last session, we have discussed about SCCM sites. There are three sites in SCCM, right? SCCM sites. Central administration site, primary site, and secondary site. These are the three site servers in SCCM. Primary is mandatory, central and secondary. Both of them are optional site server. Now, in today's session, we are going to discuss about SCCM site roles. SCCM site roles. Either you call them as site roles or site components, right? One and the same thing. First role is management point. Management point. Okay. What is management point? Management point is one of the components which is like the policy supplier to the devices. So your site server, for example, this is your primary site server and you install management point either on the same server or a different server. The management point is basically going to communicate to the devices. Okay. So let's say you have like 5000 devices. Okay. So you have some devices, 5,000 devices. All the devices will receive the policy from where? Management point. So management point is going to supply what? Policies to the devices. Clear? You guys are getting? Yes. Now, management, does management point create the policy? Where do we create the policy? The policy is created here on the primary site server and from there the policies are stored in the management point and management point is going to supply the policy to the devices right it is a communication bridge communication bridge between the client you see the client machines and server so server and client does not talk directly okay the communication happens through management point management point is a communication bridge between between the client and the server clear then management point is gonna collect inventory from the devices so all the devices is gonna send the inventory data okay the devices is gonna send the inventory data let's say there are 5,000 or 10,000 whatever the number of devices they are gonna send the inventory to management point Inventory like hardware inventory, software inventory, device is going to send the inventory to management point. Now, what management point will do? It will store in the database where in the primary side database or secondary side database, wherever it is, it is going to collect the inventory and then store it in, in its database. Okay, let's say you have 5000 devices. Now, 5000 devices, whether the hardware inventory of those devices, software inventory of the, those devices, who will collect? Management point will collect. So management point will supply policies, management point will collect inventory. Okay, is that clear? Management point is a mandatory role. It's a mandatory role. It's not an optional role. Optional means you may or may not need it, right? But mandatory, you have to install either one management point or more than one management point. Okay. How many devices you can manage? You know, one management point can supply policies to 25,000 devices. So one management, suppose you have one MP, you can supply policies to 25,000 devices. How many maximum management point? One primary side can have maximum how many primary uh, management point maximum 10 management point are you guys clear with this everyone yes hmm. yes again i'm gonna give you an overview again management point is a mandatory role second it's a communication bridge between the devices and the server let's say your sccm server is right here you have MP management point and that will be communicating to the devices. You have devices. 
either on the same location or multiple location so one uh, management point one mp can control 25000 devices point number 4 one primary site can have 10 management point okay point number 5 it supply policies supplies policies to the devices point number 6 collects inventory collects inventory and then stores inventory in the database so whatever the inventory it will collect from the devices it's going to store it in the ccm database i hope you guys are clear with this now i'm going to take you to the next site role that is distribution point distribution point it is self explanatory guys you all know what is distribution point it is a component which distribute um, it's a component which distribute contents to the devices for example when you order something from amazon so this is amazon website right amazon website you order something you place the order here what will happen and you are located in delhi so what happens your order is shipped to delhi distribution point delhi dp so all the orders which are going to be delivered in delhi all order will come to delhi distribution point and from there the guy will deliver to your doorstep is that clear similarly in ccm distribution point is to distribute the content okay so suppose you have uh some devices in mumbai for example 2000 devices in mumbai okay 3000 devices in london then you have like 4000 devices in um new york now from ccm server right for example this is your ccm primary site server what you will do in case if you have to install some application for example office 365 application so you will create the policy and you will upload the content and then for each location you will have a distribution point so for new york you will have a distribution point for mumbai you will have a distribution point for london you will have distribution point so that application office application let's say office 365 this application you have to install it in the machine so you will publish the you will distribute the application content to these distribution point so what will happen with that one the the devices these 4000 devices will download the content from new york distribution point these 2000 devices will download the content from mumbai distribution point these 3000 devices will download the content from london distribution point all clear uh, everyone uh, management not not role in in this between distribution management point primaries. management point will supply the policy na it yes. will not supply contents management point it will instruct will give the instruction to these devices so man, for right. example you have to install google chrome to these 4000 devices so management point will say install install google chrome so these devices will ask okay i will install google chrome but where is the content so management point will say take the content from this dp okay take it from here so the devices will start downloading from here got it suppose i ask you i ask you go and get a laptop that's a policy i am telling you or instruction policy or instruction one and the same thing i am giving you an instruction that go and get a laptop that's a policy or instruction you will go where 
you will go to amazon or you will go to the store and get it from there so store is what a store is a distribution point and i am giving you the policy got it got clear clear so it's like a content storage a go down or a store where the content files are present the software files update files operating system files and devices can download the files from the distribution point okay the distribution point we will understand again distribution point it's mandatory role okay mandatory it has to be there either one or more than one but you have to have minimum one distribution point second it's a content storage content storage like a shared file a shared drive wherein people are uploading the content and downloading the content from there like google drive right it's what it's a content sharing drive people can download content from there similarly distribution point it's a content storage wherein computers will always download from its nearest distribution point so devices which are in mumbai they will download from new mumbai distribution point devices which are in london they will download from london distribution point second uh, third <clears throat> devices download from download content from nearby distribution point nearby dp okay clear one primary site can have how many distribution point 250 dp one primary site can have maximum 250 distribution point suppose you have a headquarter in new york and multiple branch offices for example 200 branch offices so one primary site will uh, have multiple distribution point 250 distribution point okay all good clear Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. My voice clear or yes. breaking up? Yes. All good, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay. Then you have SMS provider. SMS provider. This is another component in SCM. now what is the role of this one this is like a communication bridge between sccm and database so your sccm server is right here and your database server is right here sccm and database they will be talking to each other whatever the changes you would like to make in sccm either application deployment update deployment operating system anything you have to do it has to be done through the database because in the back end sccm is fetching all, all the data from the database so we have database but sccm and database cannot talk to each other directly why because sccm talks in different language and database is using a different language so both of them are speaking two different languages suppose i speak english and you speak french we can't talk to each other because both of us are using two different languages so this one is using wql query language right and database is using sql structured query language okay these are two different query languages so sms provider is like a translator which understands both the languages so whatever the wmi query or wql query it will take it from sccm it will convert that into sql and pass it to the database so it's like a translator so it's what translator or interpreter right second it's a mandatory role it has to be there otherwise your connection between sccm and database will be lost okay nothing will happen your sccm will be completely down in case if this sms provider is goes down third <clears throat> it can converts wql query or wmi query wmi into 
SQL, like a converter. Okay. So it's a mandatory role. So where will you install this role? Either you install it on the same server, SCCM primary site server, you can install uh, SMS provider on the same server here. Or if you would like to install it on database, you can install it on database like here, SMS provider. Okay. You can have more than one SMS provider. It's not mandatory that you have only one SMS provider. You can have more than one SMS provider. All good guys. Everyone. Yes. Yes. Ideally, yes. it should be installed Access. on any anyone, or it it can be installed on hmm. uh, DB or both. Yes. Then we have reporting services point. What is reporting services point? It is basically to get reports. Your SCCM console or and database these are located here for example on two different servers or on the same server does not matter but all the reports are present here in the database there are some default reports available 470 default reports and some custom reports you can create later on now how do we integrate these reports so in order to integrate these reports into SCCM We need this reporting services point. Okay. So it's a mandatory role. Why mandatory? Because otherwise you can't get any reports. Okay. It is to integrate reports from database into SCCM. We can integrate the reports from database into SCCM. Okay. Point number three. Um, it's a mandatory. It integrates. It can be installed. Where you can install? It can be installed only on database server. Okay. It can only be installed. on database server you cannot install it on any other server like primary site suppose if database server is database is also installed on the primary site server then you can install but it has to be installed here reporting services point okay to get the reports basically to get the reports okay to integrate the report so there are four uh, mandatory roles which we have talked about so far mp dp management point distribution point then we have talked about sms provider and reporting services point these are the four roles which are mandatory in nature okay now there are some uh, optional roles as well so let's talk about the optional roles. The first one is service connection point. Service connection point. Now what is the role of this service connection point? Why do we need it? It basically does two things. First, suppose you have SCCM here, your server and you install service connection point role okay the moment you install what will happen it will it needs internet connection okay basically it talks to the internet okay on the internet it will talk to a microsoft update server on the internet plus it will talk to 
Azure Cloud Data Center. What, why it will do that? It will communicate to Microsoft Update Server to check for updates for SCCM server. Check for update, basically, check for update. Check for updates for SCCM server. So right now, what is the latest version? 23.03, right? Which is released in the month of March 2023. But if you would like to upgrade that to the latest one, which is going to come in a few days, this month, uh, at the end of this month, you will get another version of SCCM. That is 2.3.09. 23 means 2023. 0.9 means September. So as soon as it is available here, it will be available here in the Microsoft Update Server. So SE Service Connection Point is going to check with Microsoft Update Server on daily basis, frequently, and it will give you uh, the notification that the new version is available for the installation, and then you can download and install it. So it will check for update, and it will help. It helps to update. SCCM server. Okay. Third point, it also does what? It integrates some of the services from Azure into SCCM, like co management, cloud management gateway, Azure Active Directory, all are present here, right? In Azure. So, how SCCM will communicate to these components of Azure? Through service connection points. So, it integrates. It in integrates Azure services. Okay, Azure services in SCCM. So there are three things which it does. It checks for updates for SCCM server. It helps to update SCCM server. It integrates Azure services in SCCM. Point number four, which is it is an optional optional role. It's not mandatory. If you don't want to upgrade your SCCM server to the latest one, you can keep as it is. You don't have to install the service connection point. Are you guys clear? Everyone with this service connection point? Yes. 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 Okay. Service connection point we have discussed. Now we are going to discuss another optional role, and that is endpoint protection point endpoint protection point role this role is basically to manage antivirus which antivirus defender by default defender is present in all windows 10 and windows 11 computers as you see windows defender is right here in my Windows 11 machine. So, suppose you have like 10,000 devices or 20,000 devices and you don't want to purchase a third party antivirus. You would like to continue with the Windows Defender antivirus. Okay. So, how will you manage Windows Defender? So this role, you need to install this role. So for example, you have SCCM server and you will install endpoint protect, protection point role either on the same server or different server. And that will help you to supply endpoint protection policies. So let's say you have 5,000 or 50,000 devices. Okay. 5000 devices and on those devices we have to manage windows defender right what management we do in windows defender that when it will scan the machine when it will do quick scan when it will do full scan when it will take the new updates from the uh, server uh, when the uh, if it finds any virus what it will do okay um, will it quarantine the file will it delete the file um, so, 
uh, suppose somebody connects USB, will it scan or not? Email attachment, will it scan or not? So all those configuration you can do. So first point, it is an optional site server. Second, it is needed to manage Windows Defender. Windows Defender in devices. Okay. To configure policies of Windows Defender to configure window policies for Windows Defender in the devices. Okay. So right now, I don't know when it will scan my machine. Suppose it will start scanning my machine, it will start giving some slowness, right? So I don't want to start scanning the machine. Let's say there are 10,000 machine and all the machine will start scanning the device. You people will complain. So rather scan the machine in the midnight, scan the machine in the, uh, you know, on weekend or something. So those policies you can create. All good guys, everyone. Uh, yes or no? Sir, uh, three doubts actually. Uh, I haven't disturbed in between. Mm. Yeah. So this uh, endpoint Quickly. protection, we are uh, we are looking out uh, thoroughly after this thing. So endpoint configuration and all those things. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, we are going to look uh, for this thing configuration. We will see, we will see the, everything okay. we will see practically. Yeah, then yeah, you will yeah, get more that's clear that's picture. Right yeah. now, you might One, might not be understanding what is this, but when we install yeah, the SCCM server, then we will see practically. Okay, okay, yeah, and we are also looking out for that. It is like the a internet Wait, mm -hmm. wait, just a moment. Yeah. Are we also looking out for WMI thing? WMI queries and all. WMI, uh, WMI query a little bit I will show you because it's okay, yeah. like an ocean. If you can WMI, just, yeah, if you can yeah. just give this uh, the side path or maybe some 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 sort of video which will help in depth. Uh, we'll 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 mm. take care of that. Mm. If not, I mean just, just, just okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So endpoint protection is an optional role. Okay. Then we have state migration point. State migration point. Migration point role. This is basically to to migrate from one operating system to another operating system. For example, there is some machine which are Windows 7. Now we are going to migrate them to Windows 10. So before migration what it will do it will capture capture user profile user profile and then restore restore profile so here the profile was captured here right it it, it is stored here on the state migration uh, shared drive and then it will restore Okay, restore and capture. Got it? Point number three, it is an optional role. Okay. So it basically needs to be installed to capture and restore user profile from one device to another device. All clear, guys? Yes. So state migration point is an optional role which will help you to capture user profile from one operating system to another operating system. So we have discussed about state migration point. Now then we have software update point.
software update point is to update you know patch deployment update devices devices via SCCM so you can update devices through WSUS as well but we would like to deploy updates from SCCM so we need software update point okay so it is an optional role why because if you don't want to do that you don't have to install this one optional role so you have Microsoft update server this one is on the internet Microsoft update server okay this one is what Microsoft update server then from there WSUS will integrate the updates then from there software update point will integrate the update and then it is going to integrate in SCCM okay and finally the update can be deployed from SCCM to the devices okay so first the updates are in, in synchronized here you know Microsoft will dump the update here. then WSUS will synchronize the update then SUP will synchronize and finally the update will come here and then you can install the update to the devices it is an optional role this is needed to deploy updates to the devices through SCCM okay clear guys everyone Very yes here. Mm. hello one query yes, here uh, yes. do this software update point it's uh, mandate uh, it's optional right but uh, optional. Uh, this WSUS uh, role also been installed on the uh, primary side for a synchronization it's not mandatory you can install you can install it on a different site it's a different server but you have to install these two together wherever you are installing either on the primary or on a secondary or on a different server you have to have WSU and SUP on the same side server okay okay and uh, do SCCM directly get the updates from uh, Microsoft no for a distribution SCCM cannot talk to Microsoft directly SCCM okay. talks to WSUS and WSUS talks to Microsoft okay means we need to have the WS uh, WSUS rule as well as a software yes. update point rule also yes okay any other question before we wrap it up so my, my question is my question is um, what the, the manager or uh, what they're gonna ask you to do with all this what question they're gonna ask you at the job to do you know they will ask you to deploy patches they will ask you to deploy application right so in the back end these components has to be there for your activity okay, okay. got it we will see it practically then you will get more clear picture okay guys yes, yes. we'll meet tomorrow yeah. All right. So recording session. Thanks. Yeah, I will show the recording on the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Yes. For joining the Thank session. You. We'll meet tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Uh, bye, do bye. you have Thank the you. WhatsApp group now? Yes, I will create. I will add you guys in the WhatsApp group. I have created yesterday. Okay. I will add you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Note for this, or we Thank can you. Only bye now. By huh? We can. Uh, Bye for now. Will you will you provide notes for this? I, I we self we can prepare notes for by seeing this video.